This is Rumor Roundup, let's get started. Let's talk about the iPhones first. We really don't have a clue on what Apple is planning for its next iPhone. If history repeats itself, which it often does, then Apple won't tweak the industrial design of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus too much. It will of course offer some new hardware features that'll improve the experience for us consumers. One KGI analyst known for reporting on Apple's supply chain says he found evidence that Apple is working to add a new and improved Touch ID sensor into next year's iPhones. The new Touch ID sensor will apparently offer a better and safer Apple Pay user experience by reducing reading errors. The analyst also added that rumors of a full touch screen Touch ID won't be happening anytime soon, but Apple has filed patents for integration between Touch ID and Touch Panels, so we could possibly see a Touch ID screen in the near future. Now, I haven't gotten Apple Pay to work properly, so if the next iPhone has a much better Touch ID, then count me in. Up next is Google's Project Aura. New report claims Google's heading to Mobile World Congress next month with Project Aura, and we could possibly catch an early glimpse and quick demo of the device in up to 50 different swappable modules from a variety of manufacturers. Hopefully we'll get a look at the custom version of NVIDIA's Tegra K1 processor designed for the Project Aura. Once Project Aura finally launches, you'll essentially be able to design your own phone, swapping out different components like cameras and battery based on your own personal preference. Unfortunately, Google hasn't revealed pricing and when it will come out, but hopefully we'll learn more about Google's plan next month, assuming the company will make an appearance at Mobile World Congress 2015. Now let me stop the video for just a quick second and thank our friends over at Full Sail. Now as you know, virtually every industry relies on software technology and Full Sail University, which offers bachelor's degree programs that address the need for skilled tech professionals through curriculum that blends code and theory with real world experience. The mobile development bachelor's degree program offered on campus and online teaches students how to develop apps and utilities through courses that cover both iOS and Android development. If you want to learn more about Full Sail's web and technology programs, visit fullsail.edu slash technobuff. And last but not least, this wouldn't be rumor roundup if we didn't talk about the Galaxy S6. Now, this has to be a record, right? The Galaxy S6 isn't exactly a secret, but Samsung's done a decent job of mostly keeping the upcoming phone under wraps until now. A new N22 benchmark spotted by a Chinese site, MyDrivers, may reveal a full list of specs for the flagship device, including blazing fast speed for its new processor. Based on today's leak, the Galaxy S6 should come equipped with a 5.1-inch UHD display, Samsung's own Exynos 7420 processor, a 20-megapixel camera in the back, a 5-megapixel camera in the front, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of storage, and run Android 5.0.2 out of the box. Now, Phone Arena did note that the model number listed by the benchmark could possibly be the rumored Galaxy S6 Edge, but the curved display isn't mentioned anywhere in my driver's report. Either way, we're expecting similar specs for both devices, so it shouldn't be much of a difference, similar to the Galaxy Note 4 and Note Edge. Samsung's expected to unveil the Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge next month in an event set for March 1st, and we'll be covering the entire thing live, so make sure to go check us out at technobuffalo.com. Anyways, that's it for this episode of Rumor Roundup. Anything that I talked about in this video will be in the link down below. I'm Mark Linsanger from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you guys would like to see more, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And we'd like to play video games every now and then in this office, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo, and we hope to see you guys there.